going to make our mind up to do it together. And when I'm out of line, rebuke me. When you're out of alignment with God, I rebuke you. Because if I really love you, I ain't going to want you to do wrong. Living life to the fullest. How bad do you love God and love the persons around you? I love my daughter them enough to not agree with wrong. Because I want them to line up with God. I'm still going to be their daddy lover, but I'm not going to agree with only what the Lord say. Are we really going to live for God all the way? Am I not preaching to you in here? I, I didn't know who was going to be here today. This is a good word. It's just like camel soup. Mm -hmm, good. Am I in here? Watch this. Let me, let me, let me, let me close this thing quick. I'm going to ask y'all something. What is, what is living life to the fullest to anybody in here right now? What is living life to the fullest to you? See, when you come through them doors, Jesus expects when he called you the first day into the ministry, he had a mindset on you living to the fullest. God don't look at us and say, I just want you to barely make it. I've had a church, I went to a church where the, the leaders was telling them, if you're struggling, that means God is with you. I don't believe that. I believe we can go through struggles, but God desires for us to prosper and live a long life, health, and peace. I'm going to say this too, and I don't mean to get deep in here, but I'm going to get deep. In the hood is where the devil wants his well the most and keep people in bondage. Keep us struggling. So when folk, if you ever seen a dog ain't ate all day, when he's hungry, he'll put his life on the line. He'll get hit by cars out in the street just to get that food right there. He'll, he'll, he'll take a chance and you whooping him and get out of his yard and he'll run and break and run because they starving. Folk, who, who's struggling, we'll sometimes go beyond our normal to do what we got to do to eat, Come on. to pay the bills. Come on. When Jesus said, it's easy, come with me. Follow me. I got a new way. I left the dope game. He said, follow me. I'm going to show you what the dope can't, can't do. I'm going to show you the dope game, dope game can't let you sleep peaceful. Right. I'm going to show you that what I give you, you ain't going to lose it to the bondsman and the lawyer. Right. Uh -oh. I'm going to show you that when I make you at peace, you're going to be at peace with all men. And, and, and not only that, I'm going to bless you so, I'm going to put a blessing on you so strong, I'm going to make you even love your haters. Oh. Go bake your haters a cake. Take it next door and say, I just want to bless you even though I know you hate on me. Uh, because the more you hate on me, the more God elevates me. Yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> Do you know that? The Bible say he leads you in the path of righteousness for his name's sake. Just because you got the name of Jesus and they bother you, he said, I'm going to lift him up a little higher. Just to show the hater, don't bother. I ain't blessing you because you're doing good. I'm just blessing you because my name is on you. <laughs> Let me, Jesus. Let me get out of here. Uh, look, wait. Dry bones. He, he said, he looked at them dry bones. And he said, can them dry bones live? See, the prophet saw some dry bones. And they, they break it down. Really, it was some dead people. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like dead folk in the church. And, and if you don't watch it, dead folk will talk to you. Help me, Lord Jesus. Not like it looks funeral home, but you got living dead people. They might well be dead. They ain't got no joy. Uh -oh. Come on, dry bones. Uh -oh. Have you ever had a dry bone relationship? It, it ain't, it's dry. You ever ate a dry steak? You ever ate some dry uh, uh, meatloaf? Have you ever ate some dry macaroni? Have you ever eaten some dry? Have you ever drunk a stale soda? How long has this soda been out? You know those sodas you can buy at the dollar store? When you open them, you better drink them right then. That's how relationships are dry. You look at them, they look at you. Dry. That's how you can tell when your relationship dry. When you be like, I wish he'd leave with the, with the uh, trash man. 
Am I in here? You can tell when the relationship dry. You like look at them, they look at you. Yeah. It's dry. When it's fresh, you look for each other. But when it's dry, you ever have a dry friendship? You see your friend, let me get over here and, and, and at least make them think I'm, I'm all right with them. It's dry. He went to the valley of dry bones. You got some dry praises. They know how to acrobatic praise with Pastor Fr Amen. I want to get that dry amen back. It ain't got no fire in it. it ain't got no joy in it. They're already looking at their clock. Look at somebody and say dry. Look at somebody and say, don't, don't dry. Sit next to me next week. Girl, you got, you, you, you got some dry folks that'll dry your amens up. You better tuck them in at night and, and loosen them up. And, Lord, help me, Jesus. Dry. When, when, when a life is dry and stale, it has no meaning, no purpose. He sent the prophet, like me, a prophet. He said, speak to them dry bones. Ain't you tired of dry churches? Ain't you tired of dry relationships? Ain't you tired of dry money? Dry everything. Just dry, 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 dry. Then you need a new dry man. Then you need a new dry woman. Say, how is he? He's just like the other drivers, girl. How is she? She dry too, man. When you ain't motivated. <laughs> you get on back. Help me, Lord Jesus. I'm dry. See them every Sunday. Uh, same members. They, they've been coming for a while. They're coming in with a dry. Like, and you want man, the church ain't growing and changing because you dry. Get a, a, get a fresh new praise. Do anybody got a fresh new praise in here? Where you at in the house? Where you at in the house? I know you've been here three, four years, but then you got a fresh amen. Come up with, to the pastor with Pastor, I don't know. I don't know if we're going to get better. Just sit down with your dry self. I need some fresh people up in here. Some folk that believe that God can do it. And he told the preacher, he said, go prophesy to them dry bones. Tell them that they can live. How do I know them dry bones live? Because when I prophesied to that dry bone right there, he was an alcoholic, but he came out of it. Yeah. Man, praising the Lord. That ain't a dry bone. Bro, I got an amen in the house. I prophesied to a dry bone. Uh, my sister, man, she praises God, and I'm fired for the church, and want to do something for the church. I kept preaching. See, I preached the dry bone. If you stay long enough, them dry bones gonna start raising up. They gonna start cha cha. Am I in here? Y'all know that dance of cha cha. When it get good to you, look at somebody and say, I ain't drunk no more. <laughs> Tracy gonna laugh. I came home from the thrift store and I, the Lord spoke to me and said, I know you've been married 19 years. He said, but go buy something that's fresh. Because when you get in a marriage and relationship and you come walking around with that old rusty stuff on, Cause you can get used to somebody so long you just walk around dry. Just. I come home with some stuff that's fresh. I say I want to dress around my wife. I say it looks look like the first day I met you. Ooh. He spoke to me and said, "Come out of that dry sit situation. Don't let yourself." Oh, oh. get so you. Uh, baby, bring me a soda. Is she like a dry soda? <laughs> See, a woman don't want to be honest. She'll tell you how she acts about you. Huh? Huh? Yeah, girl, he over there with a dry self. 
in my ear. I want to be fresh. Fresh. I want you to be fresh. Well, now look at it, girl. You look like you did when I met you. You fresh. You got some news on them bones. Dry bones. In the valley of dry bone. 23rd Psalm say, though I walk through the valley of dry bones. Ooh, some of y'all stand in the valley. You can tell folk who stay in the valley, they just got to dry talk or dry walk. Oh, Lord, have mercy. Just wrinkle down, just dry. Just dry. Ain't got a dry amen. Ain't got a fresh amen. Oh, I've been here a while. You know, you get tired. You know, all you dry. Because you got to learn how to keep yourself fresh. Amen. Though I walk through the valley, I ain't going to lay in the valley. I ain't going to stay in the valley. I ain't going to hang with no valley people. Do you know what a valley do? We went to White Mountain when we grew up. We was out there. You can holler and it'll echo. You got some folk who you talk to, it just echo. Did you hear me, hear me, hear me, hear me? Yeah, 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 yeah. A valley friendship. I can't hear you, hear you, hear you. Lord have mercy. Look at somebody and say valley. And you wonder why I won't come hang with you. Valley car. Valley thoughts. Lord have mercy. The valley just deadness. No life existence. Even the cactus want to give up. The cactus there just want to lay it down too. I'm going to let this sermon go into next week's. Because we have to not get dry. And the prophet, he say, Prophesy to them bones. Watch this. The bones are the people. Preach to them dry bones. The preacher preach every Sunday. Hoping them bones will wake up. But if I go hang with dry people when I leave. And I go back in the valley. I'm going to come back Sunday dry again. I got a dry watch. What time is it? I left the beans on. You ain't left nothing on. You ready to get out here into a dry walk, a dry place. Ooh. The Bible says, go read this, write this down in your your word. The Bible says, I think it's in Matthew 12, 42 to 46, uh, it said, when the spirit walked through dry places, seeking rest, it find none, but when it find that house, that's, that's not full of no, no new fresh furniture, no new fresh lights, no new fresh. It's dark and dry. That's where it takes five more homeboys with them. Say, player, come on here. I done found the house. It's dry. It's been sitting in church, but I'm the temple of God. That house is dry. It's been acting like it's praising. It's been acting like it's saying amen. It's been acting like it's full of the spirit. But it's dry, player. How you know? Because c- it feels like where we lay at. It's dry, man. This is the spot. And go in and take over that house. And it becomes seven times worse than the beginning. That's why if I come in church and I make the church a dry place, a valley place. Pastor, how you, how you preaching? Because I ain't finna let my life get dry. It has got dry at times in the walk. 24 years. And I had to go to the blackboard of my life and pray. And ask God to renew my spirit. Yeah. Refresh me. I'm going to say this. Even great leaders can get dry. Yeah. Members in the church who've been here long can get dry. Why? Because we're checking ourselves daily. I'm going to 